So let's do a few examples of what uh, the scientific method would look like if it was written out in statements. So right here, there are a few different choices. Uh, recognize a problem or make an observation, form a hypothesis, test a hypothesis with an experiment, or draw conclusions, right? So all parts of the scientific method, we just don't have as many as we did um, when we were last looking at this. So a good indicator that something, uh, so let's look at the first one and try to figure out if it's gonna be A, B, C, or D. So Stephen predicted that his plants would start to grow faster if he used a green light on his plants. So this right here is saying that um, it's cause and effect. If I do this, then this is gonna happen, right? He predicted that his plants would grow faster if he used a green light on his plants. So that was his, it's a hypothesis. If I do this, if I use a green light, then my plants will grow faster. So for this one right here, all we have to do is, um, let me see, let's do it black. So for this right here, all you have to do is hypothesis. Whoops. Let me just use this draw tool. And so we'll just go ahead and put a B there for hypothesis. All right, and then the next one, Jane said, if I use phosphorus fertilizer on my roses, they will blossom sooner. Very similar to the first one, right? If I do this, then this is gonna happen. If I use phosphorus fertilizer, my roses will bloom sooner. So very similar uh, to the first one, right? And that is just gonna be B, that is a hypothesis. And what you notice about both of these is that they're both very testable, right? You could test both of these statements very easily. So let's look at the third one. Juan's data show that plants grown under a green light will not grow as large as a plants grown under a white light. So right here, there are some hints in these uh, statements. And right here you see Juan's data showed, right? So the data showed, I guess, is the more important part. So what you want to know here is that his data showed the results. So that means that the test already happened, the experiment happened, and he already gathered his results. And if you look down here, the only thing that comes after the uh, experiment is draw conclusions. So that's all it can be, because that's what he's saying here is that the data showed this. So he's drawing those conclusions, right? If you see something that says the experiment showed, the data showed, that's a good example that they are drawing a conclusion right here. So for this one, this will be D, right? Draw conclusion. All right, let's look at another example. Tyrion said, if I grow five seedlings in soil, I think the plants will grow faster than the five plants grown in liquid nutrients. So here, very similar to uh, the hypotheses ones, right? You see, if I do this, then this is gonna happen. If I grow five seedlings in soil, then they're gonna grow faster than the ones grown in liquid nutrients. Right, so this right here is an if and then statement, cause and effect. So this is also a very good uh, hint that this is gonna be B, uh, form a hypothesis. So here we go with the, the second one. It says Sansa's experiment showed, uh, experiment proved that ticks move toward carbon dioxide gas. So right here, these are the key words, the experiment proved. Right, very similar to the one about Juan, like it already passed. The data, the uh, experiment happened, everything's already done. And after doing everything and collecting all the data, the experiment showed, right? So at this point, again, you've already done everything there is to do. And the only option here is draw conclusions. So for this one, the answer will be D, draw conclusions, because again, everything already happened. And the only thing left is to draw the conclusion. All right, and then for the third one, John fed different diets to three groups of pigeons. His experiments showed that pigeons need vitamin A, sorry, vitamin C in their diets. And so I know it's kind of cut off right here, but that's the important part again, is that, and let me highlight that, his experiment showed, right? So very similar to the other ones, this is D because the experiment already happened, the lab already happened, everything's done, and this is what the experiment showed. So again, the only thing for that is draw conclusions down here because again, it comes after the experiment happened. All right, let's see a few more examples. So this first one, Varys saw shrews catching insects after dark. He asked, how do shrews find the insects in the dark? So this right here, if you look at the question, there is a question here, but there is no if and then statement. It's just basically how do they do it, right? Like how do they find the insects in the dark? And uh, shrews are birds, or it's a type of bird that, that finds insects in the dark. So right here, he's just asking, well, how do they do that? Right, he's not saying if I do this, then this is gonna happen. So this can't be a hypothesis because he's not making an if and then statement, right? There's no cause and effect in this statement. He's just simply asking, how do they do this? 
right? So for this one, it would be uh, the first one where it's A, recognize a problem or make an observation. In this case, he's just making an observation, right? He's watching the shrews catching insects in the dark and he's just wondering, well, how do they catch insects in the dark? Right, so in this case right here, he's just observing something. He's not really making a hypothesis. Um, he's not doing the experiment and he's not drawing conclusions. So here, he's just making an observation. All right, so the next one here. Daenerys wondered if dyes could be taken out of plants, flowers, and stems. So very similar to the one above it, right here, there is no if and then statement. This person is just wondering, like, can I do this? Is it possible to do this? So in this case right here, they're just making an observation about um, what they're witnessing, right? They're, they're looking at plants or leaves and they're just wondering, can I do this? Can I take those colors out of there? And in this case, um, it is just an observation that they're making. So this would also be A. All right, then let's look at the last one here. Gregor soaked eight different kinds of seeds in water for 48 hours. Then she planted the seeds in uh, soil at a depth of two centimeters. She used the same amount of water, light, and nutrients for each kind of seed. So in this case right here, let me erase this really quick. So in this case right here, they're saying um, there are steps listed. And whenever you see like things in, in steps like this, this is a good ex uh, example or a good uh, illustration of uh, testing the hypothesis with an experiment, because this is what they're doing. An experiment is kind of like a recipe. You have to follow it step by step by step. And that's what you see happening here is that Greg is soaking them in water and then planting them in soil and then using the same amount of light nutrients for each kind of seed. So that right there should hopefully sound familiar as the parts of an experiment, right? So this one right here would be uh, C. Right, and it's testing the hypothesis with an experiment. And again, you'll know that it's an experiment because they do different steps when they're trying to do an experiment, right? So um, this would be, again, C.